Hello everyone, my name is Henrik Fredeus and I am the project lead on Crusader Kings 2. And today I'd like to talk about relations. Specifically, since this is Crusader Kings 2, I want to talk about character relations. Now, in most of our games, we have bilateral relations. That is, if I don't like you, that means you don't like me either. And we feel that this is kind of clunky. So in Crusader Kings 2, relations are going to be unilateral. You know, since if I betray my alliance with you, that does not necessarily mean that I don't like you. But you sure as hell won't like me if I do it. So we're having uh, unilateral relations. We like to call them character opinions in Crusader Kings 2. And these are not a value that can decay or change slowly over time. This is a sum of very clear modifiers. Like I mentioned betraying an alliance. So if you betray an alliance, that might mean that you like me 20 points less or 20% less. Or you tried to have my sister assassinated. So that might mean you might like me minus 100%, but you will see exactly why people like or mislike you. Since we have these nifty character opinions, we felt that there was no need for arbitrary or clunky mechanics like loyalty or infamy or stability like we usually have in our games. Instead, every character's reaction to other characters will be dependent on their, their opinion. And this is going to be pretty clear to the player. You will know why other players like or mislike you. Uh, and you know, if, if many characters dislike you, uh, you will know why there's trouble in your realm. You don't need to care that there's minus three stability. These are actual characters and they're modeled in the game. They have troops, they can rise up against you and you'll know why. There are two types of character opinion modifiers. One type automatically triggers. A mother will like her son, uh, and a son will like his mother. But other opinion modifiers are triggered by events and things that happen in the game, like a declaration of war or a betrothal that doesn't go through. And these are often time limited so that they last for 20 years or so, and then they're forgotten. Anyone who has played Crusader Kings 1 will be familiar with the trait system. And these traits are also going to be a basis for character opinions. So if a character is ambitious, he might not ever like his liege that much. Now, the ambition that he has gives him an opinion modifier against his liege, a negative one. So he might like his liege 40% no, less because he's ambitious. Now, a content character, on the other hand, would have the opposite opinion modifier of his liege, so he might actually be fairly happy with his situation in life. In many ways the opinion system is at the heart of the gameplay in Crusader Kings 2. It's what drives the game mechanics. It's the reason for why characters act like they do. And you will note that you know a, a character who is a lunatic will do pretty strange things. And this is what we want. We want players to see how other characters will behave in a consolidated and perfectly logical and obvious way.